Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add in a low pass and a high pass filter. First of all, um, I've just added in a simple drum loop here, I'll let you listen to that. Fairly standard beat, um, you can hear there's quite a lot of bass in there in the bass drum, uh, and there's quite a bit of high end in the snare, so that's really useful for demonstrating the low and high uh, frequencies uh, in this clip. Okay. First things first, I'm going to add in my EQ as I want it. So multi channel in, EQ, and down to seven band stereo. It's up to you which, what you use, really. Okay, before I start, I'm going to make sure I get my equalization exactly the way I want it. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of messing around here. I'm kind of want, thinking I want a little bit more bass in here. So I'm going to add in a little bit of uh, LMF here just to, to play around with this sound. Let's have a listen. Gotta watch my picking over here, but that's okay. I'll I'll fix that later in compression. So I'm fairly happy with that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in my low pass filter. So first things first. Again, uh, clicking on this shape here, it should be defaulting to that just now, and we're going to click the, this little button here. It says in. Once you do this, look on the graph here. You'll see this little white dot appear. And that really is how we're going to work this. I'm going to just show you. This is how we control the frequencies here that are entered. If I take this right down, you'll see this white line here sweep to the left. What that means is that basically any frequencies to the right-hand side of this line here have been stripped out. So at the moment, if I play this just now, you're really only hearing anything really uh, what 120 hertz and below really so that's all you're hearing here so if I listen to that so most of it's been stripped out there and that's pretty straightforward okay if I add some more back in and you get the idea so stripping back out again heard this effect in many 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 dance tunes so all we have to do now is apply some automation to this and hopefully we should have a full control of that so again from video 9 uh, automation quite simply all you have to do is click on the automation button here and at the very bottom of this window here you will see low pass frequency so what you need to do is click on here and add and as I do that, just watch down here, you'll see the little light coming on. Uh, down here, this little green light here. So that means we're active here. And, and if we've done this correctly, if we go over to where it's waveform on our line here, uh, on our channel, it should be there for us. So low pass frequency. So just now it's at the midpoint. If I move it up and down, it'll move up and down. So... In the last clip, I showed you how to uh, add auto right. So all we have to do is apply the knowledge from there, and we can change that. So let's look at this now. We're going to go to write mode, and it goes red here, and it goes red here as well. So we're going to be writing using this here, using the frequency. So here we go. We're going to start off with very much stripped out high frequencies and we're going to add in the higher frequencies as we go through it. So here we go. We're in right mode now. And from a smooth transition, we'll just move in and start adding some of the higher frequencies in. Okay, so they're all in there, the full uh, range of frequencies up there, up to 20k. And at the beginning of this beat, I'm going to strip it out. Take it right down. Right back in. Okay, we'll use the effect. This could be done by hand, but sometimes it's much easier doing it this way. Anyway, 
So you can see some of my automation there uh, has been completed. Now, last little thing, a little reminder there. Uh, I attempted a smooth transition, but by hand, that's uh, almost impossible. So what I can do is just select from here to here, just before that dot by hand, freehand, and then click delete. Uh, and that should give us a smoother line there. So you can see how the automation uh, is working there. So let's listen to that from the beginning and watch this on our, our window here as well. And you can see the effects of the frequencies changing. So the beginning of the smooth transition, adding these higher frequencies in. there for a while and then we can do some stripping to strip it out. The reason for doing this kind of effect might be you want to highlight another area of the song and so on. Okay and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, to do the same thing for a high pass uh, filter is exactly the same but all you'd be doing is doing it the other way around so basically it's going to um, start off with all the high frequencies and then add the lower frequencies in uh, later uh, as you go on so it's, it works exactly the opposite way and it can create the opposite effect again so the last thing to do is go back on to uh, read mode uh, make sure you have it in read mode and don't click on off because it wouldn't sound like anything. <laughs> All your automation will be off. So back into to read mode and that will work for you fine. Okay, thanks for watching.